these tower blocks in Liverpool are now playing their part in a national story. Workmen today quickly removing external cladding from the blocks after learning they don't meet fire standards. David has lived here for the last two years. Patricia, on the sixth floor, has been here since 2011 and Russell for two and a half years. He's pleased with the quick response from the Housing Association in charge of the blocks. It was done pretty fast. We had um, letters through the post, um, multiple letters, uh, a few days afterwards explaining what was going on, so we knew it was going to happen. Removing the external cladding is both methodical and labour intensive. Some residents, though, were initially confused about how safe their buildings were. In just 24 hours, David at number 32 received two letters from his housing association. One day we got one in the post, then the next day they come round and knocked on the door with the other one. So one day they said it was okay, the building, yeah. and then the next day it wasn't? The next day it wasn't, yeah. At first when we got the letters and we said it's all wrong and that, then I felt a bit worried then. But now it's getting removed, I feel a bit reassured in myself that it's all getting done. Patricia, though, is just pleased action is now being taken. But they've been all very good and they've done the best, you know. That's all we can ask, isn't it? Thank God they found out anyway, before anything did go wrong, you know. All this means Merseyside Fire Service are under pressure. They're working around the clock, checking buildings, along with councils and building inspectors. We do have adequate resource, but quite obviously there's a lot of, lots of referrals coming into the service and there's lots of uh, people concerned. So, you know, we are stretched, but we do have uh, ample resources for what we need to deal with. And, um, you know, there's nothing um, that we, uh, we fear in terms of um, making appropriate checks at premises throughout Merseyside. The cladding here should be removed by tomorrow, but knowing how many more buildings across the country that will undergo similar steps remains unclear. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.